is going to affect our working relationship. A national survey of lawyers and barristers found one in four females and one in ten men experienced sexual harassment. Women reported receiving unwanted advances, feeling objectified or being exposed to inappropriate sexual behaviour. The figures for female barristers is more alarming in New South Wales where nearly one in two experienced sexual harassment. Not one of them had made a formal complaint. In terms of reporting sexual harassment, I think it's widely unreported. Um, and particularly in industries where you're reliant upon your reputation to climb the corporate ladder, a lot of people are fearful that their reputation will suffer or that they will be subject to adverse action from their employer if they were asked to speak out. Michael Palmer says that even his staff, who are experts on workplace harassment, aren't immune. They have been sexually harassed by lawyers from other firms. We're in the middle of a major case, a leading member of the bar start sexually harassing one of our instructing solicitors. We're caught, we need the case to go on, we can't dump the person halfway through the case. Very difficult situation and very difficult to manage. It's right throughout our industry and it's very difficult for female practitioners to get the outcomes they deserve. The pressure has been put on the firms from within the legal fraternity to take action, to place more women in senior positions and to provide safer ways for staff to complain about harassment. A lot of um, practices aren't dealing with it head on. They don't have policies and procedures, or if they do, employees don't know about it, and they don't know who to complain to. The behaviour will never stop completely, 